Good day, students. Today we're going to be covering mail merge. Um, we will be covering the question paper that was done in November 2018. Um, let's just read through the question to see what we've been asked to do. Okay. Question five states, you are the organizer at Golden Heroes and must send invitation letters to the athletes for the gala event. So the question 5a asks you to use the mail merge function to create a data file using the names and information in the table below. Okay, um, so to start that part, we're going to be going into Microsoft Word first. Um, so I will just switch over and go into Microsoft Word. And in Microsoft Word, we're going to go into the mailings menu. So that is the mailings menu. And then we will go into start mail merge. We will go into the drop down there and then go right down to the bottom where it says step by step mail merge visit so that we guide it through the whole process. OK, so in the, that box, we will then have the options to um, start the letter. Um, and you can actually see the, the steps at the bottom coming up And step one of six says, what is our starting document? So if I click on next. It says, how do you want to set up your letter? Um, and we're going to be using the current document, which is what you want to do. OK, um, so the next thing we're going to do, is we're going to go click on select recipients. Um, so we have your options to either use an existing list. So that's when we have maybe set up a Excel spreadsheet with the names in it. Or you can use the option to type a new list. If you do that, the option below becomes um, type the new list and you click on the create button over there. If you want to use an, an Excel spreadsheet, you'll go to use an existing list and you will then click on browse to find your file that you created. Okay, so for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel. So I will switch over to Excel and then start typing out that information. Okay. So in Microsoft Excel, we need to create the database and we're going to be starting with a name. Address. Town. Code and color. It's like on the school sports where we have different colors for the different athletes. OK, I'm just going to pause the video at this stage and I'll be um, complete the typing of this. We will be back shortly with you. OK, welcome back. Um, so now we've typed in the information. Um, what I've done, I've just basically typed in the information. I just want to now um, adjust my column width to make sure that I'm displaying everything correctly. So I will go between columns A and B, making sure that I get the icon to change to show that I can actually change the width of that column. So I can double click on that. Um, I will do the same between columns B and C. It's the same between columns C and D, columns D and E. Okay. Um, so what I want you also to pay attention to, you will see that question 5a actually appears within the recipient list. Um, so you must make sure you put in your question number in the right fields. And I've also had to use an apostrophe here to actually place um, the um, code in for Pretoria. So um, I started out that with an apostrophe. So all I need to do is my alignment. I need to make sure that I right align that. Okay. And then similarly, I also had to add in the examination number. So for, for the purposes of this exercise, I'm actually typing exam number, but in your case, you will actually type in your full ID number within that field. OK, so now that we've got the recipient list set up, we're going to go back into Microsoft Word. And now I'm going to save that file. Sorry, I should just do that quickly. You will save that so you have it in a place that's easy for you to find. Um, and in this case, I've created a um, CPN5 folder. So I'm going to call this mail merge November 2018, question 5a. And then I save it there. 
and I will then go back into Mail Merge, and now I'm going to browse for that list. So as you saw, I saved it under CPN5. I will then find it under CPN5. Okay. So in CPN5, I will just search for a date modified to make it easier for me to find it. There we go, right up there. Mail Merge, November 2018, question 5A. Okay, um, one thing I, I forgot to do, and this, this is naughty of me, I'm going to go back to Excel. I'm actually going to close this file because I don't want the, there to be any problems. So close the file in Excel, and then you add it into your Millwatch um, table. Okay, so now you're going to select the table. Can you see it's now set to use your first row that contains your column headings, which is exactly what we've done. And it's sheet one that we are selecting. So we click on OK on there. Right. Um, yeah. Let me just try that again. I'm going to quickly pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Apologies for that. Um, I've now managed to open up my mail merge, um, my Excel spreadsheet, my database that I created. So now I can go ahead and you can see the fields that are being imported as I type them in there. So I can, I can click on OK. Okay, now we're at the point where we can actually type in the letter which appears on the next page of the question. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video here while I type that letter. Um, one thing you need to bear in mind, you're going to be using Arial Black 16 point for your heading. Um, the rest of the document, um, we need to type in Korean new 12 point. Okay, um, so, and we need to um, have a tab stop of 10 centimeters from the left margin. Um, I will set that up as well um, for our address. So I'm going to pause the video while I do that. Just one second, please. I will be back shortly. Okay, now we're at the point where we can actually edit the letter that we've now created. Um, so we're going to start out with the heading. And we're going to change that heading to Arial Black. So just go down to Arial Black. Make it 16 point. It's got to be in uppercase, which we've already done. We typed it in uppercase and it's got to be centered. Okay. Uh, then we need to now insert our merge fields. So you will see in your question that they actually put the merge fields within brackets. Please um, ensure that you actually replace that and put in your merge fields in that. So we click on the mailings menu and we're going to click on insert merge field. And in this case, we're going to replace the address over here. Um, I like to highlight my merge fields so I can see which ones I've done. I'm just going to do the next one, which is town. Insert the merge field for town. And also merge field for code. Okay. So now that I've done those, I can then do the ones for name. And last but not least, in the letter itself, we need to change the color. So that's the last merge field we got. And you will notice that this is actually where your B question is completed. Um, oh, apologies, we needed to up, um, update the, the, rest, the, the sender's information. We need to put that in uppercase. So we're just going to go into the font grouping and change the case to uppercase. And now letter is done. So now we can actually save our letter as question 5B. Okay, once you've saved it, we can then now go ahead and actually print this. But before you do, you need to make sure that your merge fields are bold, as that was one of the requirements in the question. Just make all your merge fields bold.
And one thing is also got to bear in mind when you're doing, um, if you're typing up your information in Excel, you, when you're typing dates in there, please type it in as text. So start it out with an apostrophe. Similarly, when you're typing in a um, time, you also need to put it, put it in as text. Don't put it in as a normal um, date or normal time. Otherwise, you will have issues when you do all the mail merge. Okay. But that's now it in terms of the B question. So we can actually then go ahead and print this. So we're going to go file print. And for the purposes of this exercise, we'll be printing to a PDF file. We go to file print. Okay, and we're going to save this as question 5B, November 2018. And we will replace it. Right. You will have noticed that I've actually used the date of 13 of October 2018. So it makes more sense in terms of the content of the letter. Um, but obviously, when you're doing your question, your examiner will have, have changed the dates accordingly. Um, but that was just for illustration purposes. But that's the B question done. The B question has most of the marks, so you need to make sure that your merge fields show clearly. They will be highlighted on this, but when you actually look at your PDF file, um, the merge letter will um, not have the highlighted fields. I'm just going to illustrate to you what it actually looks like. Okay, as you can see there, it's actually showing the highlighting. Um, and it also shows us where we put in our merge fields. Okay, and that's it for the B question. Now we can move over and do the C question. And the C question, all that basically requires us to do is go back into the mailings menu. And then we change um, our, to, to, to the preview of the results. And now we need to select the letters for Semenya, Augusta Semenya. We can actually take the highlights off and we can print those for Semenya and for Brown. So this is Semenya's letter. I'm just overriding the previous results that I've created previously. So I'm not going to look for Brown's letter and you can just scroll through your different records until you find Miles Brown. And yet again, use our quick print option and select Mr. Brown. Save that and replace it. Um, apologies, I forgot to update my header. So I need to reprint those two letters. So I'm going to go back in and then just re Go back into my mailings and reprint the letters for Semenya. And similarly for Brown. You may ask, why am I not using the finish and merge option here? If I use this option, I need to either specify whether I only want to print the current record or if I want to do a specific series. I can use that option as well to do the printing. Um, and I'm going to do it for this one now. Just selecting the current record just to illustrate to you. It then brings up our print box. And now we can select OK. And we are printing this letter for Mr. Brown. Replacing the old one. So that concludes it for our actual questions. Um, like I said earlier, the B question carries the most of the marks, which is 20 marks out of the 31. The C question would have carried four marks and the database when we set it up was seven marks. Um, also for illustration purposes, I'm gonna also go ahead and create labels for using mail merge. So I'm gonna save this document, close it um, and start a new Word document. Going back into mailings, 
before I do that, let me save this as, I'm going to call it the label, mail merge labels. for the November 2018 paper. Okay, this wasn't in the question, but we're just creating it for that purpose. So we go into the mailings menu. So now all you need to now do, you're going to dare we to start mail merge. You click on that option and we go down to the one that says labels. Okay, it will then automatically then bring us into an area where we can select the label supplier or the label vendors. So in, in the case of this exercise, we're going to be using A1. And the label we'll use is the A128386. And then we click OK because that's the label we want to select. OK, once you've got your table um, inserted, select your entire table. Go into your table design. Change your border styles to a dotted line and then you will insert it in for all borders and now we're at the point where we can actually insert the mail merge fields so we're going into the recipients so you click on the select res recipients now remember we've already set up our, our database in excel so we're going to use the existing list Okay, so you then go and find your Excel spreadsheet. Add it into there. And now we're going to insert our merge fields. Okay, so as an, a, a label for an address, we need to have the name. We need to insert the address. We need to insert down. accidentally added address twice and for last but not least we're going to add in the code okay once you've gotten to that point where you added in your first label you need to select the field that says update labels because then it'll add in the the merge fields on all the other records okay and now we're at the point where we can actually preview our results to show our labels, as you can see, all of the different athletes got different labels. So we can then go down. Most of the times, the question will ask you to put in your details into one of the labels. So we're going to go down to the last label and we're going to type in there our exam number and the question. So for the purposes of this, I'm calling it question 5D. And now we can actually print the labels. So we can go ahead and go file, print. Print to PDF. Okay, and we are going to be calling this question 5D for November 2018. To so save that. Okay, so that actually concludes then um, this presentation. So if there's any questions, Please like and share and add the comments at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.